Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Uh, today we're gonna be playing with a machine gun, another very technical deck I would say, which I'm gonna try to uh, do my best to explain how to play with it, how to win with it, how to navigate certain matches. So we're gonna start uh, against PipoDP89, who's gonna play a Swordsman and Poison, which is yeah, nothing out of the ordinary so far. I'm gonna play the very ordinary uh, place as well since there's no reason for me to step out of this so far uh, the deck I'm uh, predicting he plays against me is gonna be a splamatory and in this case I will I will try to okay. he plays a very aggressive cyclone and usually when your opponent plays very aggressive spell it uh, means either they are uh, very winning or they are setting uh, themselves uh, into a very bad position. So I'm gonna play Rolling Steel, get this out of the way, and I'm gonna get a very healthy log. And he's gonna be playing also a Fawn Hut, so he didn't have uh, mana for a, a Skeleton Hut. That was very fortunate for me, because thanks to that I was able to get all these damage. And yeah, I'm gonna start with a very healthy advantage this matchup. That was a very convenient for me. Uh, I guess he's not gonna be playing a, another spell because he kind of knows right now what does that mean. I'm gonna play a Fawn Hut now just to eliminate this uh, T-Rex in the future. He's gonna play Poison here, which, uh, like I've said, if your opponent uh, plays a uh, very aggressive spell and they uh, they should be able to afford it because if they cannot afford it, it gonna mean that you're in a very good position. I'm gonna play rolling steals to push back this bomber, get a kill on it, and right now I kinda have to protect this machine gun to get some damage. This footman will get a very nice hit, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna get this archer to distract a T-Rex, very important interaction in this one. I'm gonna play another machine gun because I don't uh, really see why I shouldn't. Also I'm gonna just sacrifice this uh, uh, this damage uh, from a T-Rex just for the sake of getting some with a machine gun. So I'm I'm up uh, a lot of mana right now because he played a defensive uh, phone hut. Right now I'm gonna just try to capitalize on that and he's absolutely late with the swordsman. There's no question about that. He doesn't have reset with a, a splamatory as well so I'm gonna just get a tower down with this and that's gonna be the game. He basically was very aggressive with spells and I punished this mistake perfectly by just executing my plans of playing machine gun. And in the game number 2 we're gonna face a fun quest, I suppose was the idea behind this name. It didn't really work out because he kinda misplaced uh, one of the characters. But the other way, we're gonna be just playing a video game. Uh, he's gonna be very aggressive at first. Playing Viking at the bridge, it's not usually the play you see because it's very easy to counter. As you can see, I already have a very nice uh, situation on mana. I'm pretty sure that he doesn't have that much mana, so I'm gonna just uh, uh, ball with that and basically play our uh, main plan, which is okay. I was about to say which is to play machine gun, but definitely I'm not gonna be playing uh, a machine gun into the uh, skeleton horde, so very... Wow! Wow, very aggressive player. He didn't even know that I'm gonna play machine gun, and he, yet he's playing a bomber and a phone horde right into my face, which... Well, it shouldn't work out, but I kinda wanted to cash out my advantage, so it worked out for him. Also, I was kinda late on the swordsman, so... Uh, not the best gameplay from me thus far, but we're, we're gonna come back from that. Also, my opponent's playing Devil Horde. So yeah, basically right now uh, what I'm gonna be doing is teaching you how to basically win these uh, bizarre uh, matchups because I know that many players kind of struggle. Uh, they kind of know what's meta, what's uh, what's good in this game, what's not, how to deal with the good things, and they are then they are getting a uh, match up against players like this which kinda play everything all over the place and yeah 
So, against obviously Skeletal Heart, you want to play the uh, Machine Gun on the opposite side because uh, once you do it, you're uh, defending and attacking at the same time and just the powerful combo. I'm not gonna... Okay, I'm not... I'm gonna play a Rolling Steel right now to uh, kinda decimate everything in its lane. Also, another uh, very important thing with a Machine Gun and basically any kind of cycle slash control deck in the same time of Mare. Uh, you have to be very patient with playing these decks. You want to get like uh, very, uh, very huge pushes. Very uh, often, like there's a uh, there's a uh, jokes around like uh, with beatdown decks that you basically play robot first play and win or brute first play and win. Uh, it doesn't work like that with machine. Obviously, you can first play. It. You can first play it and win sometimes, but it's not the most viable strategy, you kinda want to just try to outplay your enemy, because it's one of these decks where you actually can just uh, play uh, way better, and uh, if you are playing better than your opponent with a machine gun, you will just win, that's, um, that, that's a given, I would even say. Uh, I'm gonna play Ice Titan here to stop everything from killing my machine gun and that's gonna be GG's because I predicted his phone hold, which was kinda predictable but I'll still call it predict because I didn't react to it so yeah very cool to see let's jump to the game number three okay so if you are if I were to obviously I'm playing against ACC with 94 mils if I were to debunk uh, how this deck pretty much works I would say Obviously, Machine Gun is your win condition. Uh, you have two anti-air cards, which is Archers and Fonhat, currently not having either of these on hand. Uh, you have two spells, like very, very basic in principle. Uh, you have a Rolling Steel, which is very popular, a small spell, and a Flying Bomb, which is very uh, popular, big spell. So. Uh, Obviously, with uh, these ones, you should be able to at least grasp how to uh, how to play the defense because defense with this deck will be very simple. Obviously, found hot uh, one of the best buildings in the game. I argue that they are better, but many people use found hot just to make sure they don't die to air decks, and that's pretty that's pretty much the reason that this deck is running. Uh, uh, the phone hat because archers as a solitary counter uh, to a uh, flying robot is usually not a good idea. My opponent will be playing actually a brute with a uh, with a phone king and a digger. It looks like I'm not gonna. I don't think I should be struggling a bit, even though brute is very good response to a machine gun. I think I should be having a very cool matchup right here. Just because he pretty much cannot break through me if I decide to do so. So I think that's gonna be a very chill game. I would say my main strategy uh, in this matchup would be just to defend for uh, as long as I can, just absorb the pressure. <coughs> now I know that what he's playing. Uh, Obviously, it would be wise to not sacrifice this bigger damage because it's pretty much the only reliable damage that he's gonna get uh, through this matchup. He's gonna play Fond King, so that was pretty daring poison, but at the same time, I think it just worked out for him uh, pretty well. I'm gonna just distract this Fond King for a bit, and I'm gonna go for another uh, Machine Gun because uh, he pretty much right now has to go Brute into me. And he's also going for the poison, so he's very aggressive with the spells, but at the same time he's absolutely stopping my win condition, so I think uh, it's not that bad of a play as it usually would be on paper. <coughs> I'm gonna right now get another machine gun, because right now I don't think he has that much uh, against that. Okay, he has Brute still, so that's gonna be a very tough uh, matchup, because uh, right now... I don't even think he's uh, too much behind on mana against me, although I will be uh, just a bit aggressive against this brute, try to get a kill on that, because if I do, that's gonna be a lock, and there we go, we have a lock, that's be basically 
all the uh, damage that we need uh, till the rest of the game. I'm gonna even try to get a kill on this T-Rex, uh, I didn't, it was fine. I kinda was knowing uh, in the back of my head that uh, getting this greedy with a uh, poison would be uh, bad for him in the wrong run and I kinda was right. Also I can just spell psycho on my own at this point because the position is locked and I don't think he can do anything about it uh, right now so we're gonna just cycle some cards and basically end the game because I don't think there's anything that he can do in this position. He cannot play very natural moves. He's even playing a Cyclones which I didn't know he have. Obviously not the card which you want to have against Machine Gun because I don't have like a uh, too much of a valuable targets that you want to use Cycle on. I have basic cards so spells like Rolling Steel or Bullets would be better. And of course Poison which he cycled a couple of times on my Machine Gun. So yeah, that's gonna be the game against Brute uh, and more or less my uh, thoughts how to beat it. Let's jump to the next game. And right now we are gonna be up against Siga who has zero medal, so pretty much uh, from zero medal players uh, Sometimes you will just uh, meet them. There's uh, nothing to be avoided Obviously, we are still awaiting the great matchmaking update while you will be able to match only people with similar medals to you because obviously it, it wasn't bad at launch because there was just no players to be uh, found uh, while uh, while you were uh, trying to queue any game, so you just have to had to match anyone to get any games. But right now, I think there's enough players to actually implement the uh, uh, proper matchmaking, where you find only players uh, with your level. So we're gonna just be facing Dark Knight very easily countered, though. Swordsman gets a very nice trade on defense against the Dark Knight, that's a very nice thing to know. Uh, so, uh, matchmaking, yeah. Uh, sometimes you'll just meet uh, zero metal players and uh, I was about to say that uh, they usually run either like some meta decks or their homemade deck. Also, the third uh, option is a, uh, is a default deck, which is very common uh, in this game. Many people just don't bother switching decks before playing because they're so used to uh, playing uh, other similar games that they think that they, their deck settings will be just remembered and that's absolutely not the case. I think I'm gonna just do a cut here because the game is absolutely over and I don't want to waste your time. So let's uh, hop to the game number 5. And the fifth opponent in this game will be uh, some other player that are, that is kinda unfriendly uh, to some particular uh, uh, human species which is well it's kind of a shame that it happens in this game because you kind of want to have the uh, best of people as a community in the game that you love but at the same time uh, it's also a kind of a charm of this game because uh, while not absolutely moderated and being in absolute chaos uh, it kinda seems like uh, a, a small project which you kinda partake in. So I'm gonna actually get a two shots from this. I anticipated zero, so I would say even a huge mistake out of me. I'm gonna play a machine gun and he is playing balloons. And after playing balloon, he just disconnected. So that's gonna be a uh, very weird way to uh, end this video. But at the, at the other hand, I don't see myself just commentating this game because there will be absolutely nothing to do so yeah this the video will be just shorter with some machine gun gameplay i hope you guys grasp some things because i've played against flying robot and against brute which i think are the two most problematic matchups usually machine gun players don't struggle against psycho but once they uh, see like a bigger pushes they kind of freak out panic and don't know what to do so uh, i Hope that my uh, video was kind of helpful in dealing with that. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, uh, absolutely make sure to press a like. And if you want to see more content from me, uh, just explaining uh, how to play the uh, Boom Arena and various decks in it, make sure to subscribe. Uh, I will be posting the content more or less daily. I wouldn't say that I promised that for now, but. 
uh, as long as I'm gonna have some like fresh motivation after uh, a YouTube break that I had recently, I'm gonna be absolutely posting and uh, uh, hopefully you take some uh, value out of these videos because uh, after all, this is the producer customer um, balance which I want to kind of preserve where I get uh, some um, uh, internet feedback and hopefully in the future some money and you guys get a valuable content so yeah thanks you for watching i'm gonna uh, end the video right here and yeah thanks for watching make sure to subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of boomarina